This is a quick video over the growth curve for bacteria, yeast, or any cell in general. So what I mean by that is we're going to talk about how do cells grow in some type of little reactor, the different phases of cells. So let's say we have some reactor right here and it's filled up with some solution, probably just water, and we add in sugar, sugar, and some type of cell. Doesn't matter what type of cell it is, and we just add them in right here. And what we want to do is graph it. Is graph it. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph the y, or the y axis will be the log of the number of cells divided by I don't know, some arbitrary volume. We'll go with milliliters times our versus time. Time. So initially, we add in our cells. We add them in, and they're just sitting there. They're just sitting here. And they just, they sit there. There's this lag phase. And what we call that is just the lag phase. Now this lag phase exists due to the cells changing all their machinery. What they're doing is they're now seeing what their environment is. They're looking at this sugar, and they're saying, okay, let's consume that sugar. So they start producing the enzymes needed to either degrade that sugar or just incorporate it into other stuff. They want to extract the energy from the sugar, so they have to, of course, make the enzymes needed. So there's that lag phase right there. And then all of a sudden, they just take off. They just take off. And what we call this phase is the exponential growth phase. I'm just going to do expo for the exponential growth phase. And this is a phase where the cells, they just start to double. So you get this exponential growth. So now the cells, they start consuming majority of the sugar. So the sugar concentration starts to go down. So what the cells do is they start to change. They no longer care about replicating. They care about making themselves as big as possible, storing energy. So they're, they're just going to increase in size and not in numbers. So they're, they're just going to start slowing down. And what we call this phase right here is the deceleration phase. Celeration phase. And that just means they're not necessarily replicating anymore. They're more of just conserving as much sugar as possible. So now they consumed the a majority of the sugar and they're just kind of sitting there. And what we call this phase is the stationary phase. Stationary phase. And all they're doing is just maintaining what they are. They're trying to maintain their their sizes as much as possible. I mean, their the cells are always consuming energy. So they're just consuming the little bit of sugar that's left. And they're not increasing in size. They're just, I mean, they're staying stationary. Now, finally, we've run out of sugar. We finally run out of sugar. So the sugar is completely gone. And at this point, it just they just drop off. And it may not be a direct drop off. It may be actually a slow slope like this. And you may not be able to even tell the difference between the stationary phase and the death phase. So we're going to say this is death. Death or decline. Decline phase. So that means either they're running out of, of sugar, or maybe they're even producing maybe some waste. And the waste is actually being toxic. So it produce toxic waste. Toxic waste. So so death phase, you can't really tell the difference between the stationary and death phase, but you can clearly see that there is a lag phase, an uh, exponential phase, a deceleration phase, where again the deceleration phase is they're no longer replicating, they're just increasing in size, and the stationary phase is where they're just maintaining. And then soon after, or somewhere, I mean it's I mean, it's hard to tell. Somewhere they consume all or majority of the sugar, or they start to produce too much, too much toxins, and they just start to die. So we have lag, expo, uh, deceleration, stationary, and death phases.